Born in 1932 and passing away in 2015, his given name was Jimmy Ray Childress, but this architect's football legend was known as Chick Childress. While on the staff at Monroe's Neville High, they won four state football championships. Then after stops at Carroll, Cedar Creek, and ULM, this architect's football legend, Chick Childress, settled in at Ruston, where he was head coach from 79 to 91. During that time, while losing only 27 games, his teams won 131 times and four state championships. Northwestern State University head football coach Brad Laird played for Childress, including 1990. That's when he was quarterback on the Bearcats state championship team that went undefeated and were ranked number one nationally. Laird talks about the reasons for Childress' success as a coach. Now that I'm in that coaching profession, I found out real quick, you know, it's not about the X's and O's, it's about the people. It's about the relationship that you build. And that's one thing that you saw with Chick Childress was uh, he was a great communicator, uh, but he had great relationships with people. He had a great relationship with his football team. And, and to me, that's what made him successful. There was a mutual respect between Childress and his players. He didn't have to, uh, to raise his voice at practice. When he talked, you listened and uh, that's the respect that he had and, and uh, that's the respect that he had for that football team. Childress continually preached to his players the importance of character. You know, as I look back now in the coaching profession, I probably know more about that word than, than I thought I knew back then as much as he preached it to us, um, is that uh, that's going to carry you day in and day out. And, and that's what he did, that's how he lived, and, and, and we appreciate that because now that's how we live our life. Laird said that whether it was losing a regular season game or winning the state championship with that undefeated team in 1990, Childress never changed, win or lose. 88, a team that lost two district games, but went on to win the state championship. 1989, an undefeated team that gets beat in triple overtime, 59-56. Fast forward to what everybody in Ruston looked at as, you know what, this is the year. Chick never changed. Coach Chill just never changed the style, and, and that's the thing that you respect about him. Uh, through highs and lows, good and bad, losses and wins, he was the same. And, and you know what, that carried over to our football team, and I think at the end of the day is what made us successful. Successful. That's a word that well describes this architect's football legend, the late and great Chick Childress.